Hi, my name is Daniela Genius, and in this video, I want to share why mums make great entrepreneurs. Mothers, in my opinion, are superhuman. I would say that because I myself am a mother. But not only do we carry life and bring it forth into the world, we also have a unique set of skills that makes us fantastic entrepreneurs. I'm going to share with you a few of those. We're fantastic at multitasking because we have to be. When you're juggling family life, trying to look after children, trying to do the shopping, do the washing, clean the house, manage the finances, doing all of those things, it makes you adept at multitasking. And multitasking is a key function of being an entrepreneur. A lot of times you will be juggling a lot of balls. So mothers are by nature fantastic at that. And quite similarly, we're great at organising. Because we always have so many things going on and trying to organise so many things, it makes us great organisers from birthday parties to days out to just the weekly schedule. We're used to organising on a regular basis and that makes for a great entrepreneur. We can deal with difficult behaviour. Any mother that's raised any child over the age of two knows that a two-year-old is the biggest tyrant that you probably will ever have to deal with. And if you can deal with a two-year-old, you can pretty much deal with anyone. Expert negotiators. Have you ever tried to convince a, a five-year-old that they can have ice cream after dinner and not before when they're dead set on having ice cream? It can take a lot of negotiation skills and because of that, mothers make great negotiators, which is something that you need as an entrepreneur, dealing with sales and dealing with marketing and dealing with suppliers. We have an innate intuition. Not everybody agrees with this, but I do. As mothers, we have a sort of sixth sense. We can feel when something is not quite right or, or quite off and that also makes us great judges of character for the most part and within a business context it's not necessarily professional to say i'm not going to move forward with something because i have a bad feeling but you may feel it and you may act accordingly to that and save yourself problems we can deal with chaos if you have more than one child even if you have one child that's a toddler as i had you know that often you're living in chaos, whether that be toys being thrown all over the place, food being thrown on the floor, trying to make a telephone call with somebody screaming in your face. Chaos is part and parcel of, of being a parent. And it also can be part and parcel of being an entrepreneur. And not always, and you shouldn't want to run a business that's chaotic. But sometimes chaotic situations arise. And if you're equipped to be able to deal with that in a home environment, then it should translate to a business environment. We have a greater purpose and that's not to say that people without children don't have a higher purpose of wanting to build a successful business or help the world or whatever that may be but when you have a child there's an additional purpose now you're doing it for your children to create an example to be a role model to impact their future in a positive way and that can motivate you on days when potentially you may feel like you don't want to continue we can work under pressure I used the example before of being on the phone and having a, a screaming one-year-old in your face. That's something I've had to endure many times, not in a business context, thankfully. But having to still maintain my composure whilst my daughter is screaming and throwing things all over the place has taught me, even though I feel like I always could deal with pressure, but this is a different kind of pressure that I hadn't really encountered until I had a child. And actually, in a business context, being able to cope with those levels of pressure and distractions as well has been really beneficial for me. So if you're a mum looking for a new challenge, why don't you use some of your mommy skills to start a new business and become an entrepreneur? You already equip so many entrepreneurial traits and skills just by virtue of being a mother, so why not take the next step? If you're already a mother in business and you think that there are skills or traits or attributes that I've missed off this list, please write below in the comment section. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this. And please follow us on social media.